What's up guys, Stoops Gamer here, welcome to episode 12 of Mafia 3 Definitive Edition. I got a weapon change here, I got this silenced pistol, maybe that's cool, this rifle's out of ammo though. So that sucks a little bit, but, what's our next mission? It was something with Vito, right? Yes, get Michael Greco. I know my car, is this the car I was driving? Nah, I'm gonna call it a different whip. Give me... Yeah, I'm fine actually. <laughs> I'll use this. Alright, I got a little nicer heaven outfit, I guess, more mafia like. I'm the boss, so I gotta dress good. Alright. You guys enjoy the series? I'm loving this series so much. I always love mafia games. And this is no different, this game's pretty good. I like the location very much. I think they nailed it with uh, the location choice for this game, New Bordeaux. Um, it was a great choice for a third Mafia game to be here. And the time period of it, great, awesome, super cool. I'm praying they make a fourth game, but we'll see. I don't know, man. We'll see. It's been as it's. It'll be a while before it comes out if they do. It. Turn off music always just in case you get copyrighted. Not worth it. Alright. Sorry, ladies. Okay, dressed in a nice little raincoat. This reminds me of that mission with Tommy. With the. Uh, hey! Vito. What were the other that shot the cops? The Border Patrol. What's up, Vito? Who's in that building at the end of the block? I don't know who was in there. Probably face down a pussy right now. You got any muscle with him? Yeah, a couple of meatheads. I'll go around the front, you take the back. If he tries to run, grab his ass. Nobody kills that prick but me. Fuck. Those are Marcano's guys. God, suck. Come on, back to the car, you drive. I'll cover us. Fuck if that little prick gets away. Go get Greco, go get Greco, go get Greco. How the fuck did Greco end up with my car? He's a little fuck, that's how. God damn it, why don't you just let Marcano handle this jackass? Marcano would just kill a little shit stain. I want to take my time. Besides, until I can get at Marcano directly, this is the next best goddamn thing. Point taken. Yes. I think the car is cooked. Cops are closing in. Hey, get the door. Yeah. Come on. The car is not the car is not as good as we get better. Oh. You're gonna have to shake these corn pone redneck motherfuckers. Yeah, huh? Ten minutes to do it? I think it won't take that long at all. What happened? You crossed the wrong motherfucker, that's what happened. Shut the fuck up! Yo, don't you get my tires cut out. Tires cut out means that we are cooked, so don't get the tires cut out. Dude, be hard, this is not our fastest car. Let's 
Big Lizzie back there with the police. Dude, this is super bad. <laughs> Tight turn. No, oh, we almost made the turn. Get out, get out. Yes. Back to your place. Yes. Yeah. Pull around to the chum shack in the back. And as for you, have a little dignity. Christ. Help! Somebody fucking help! help! <laughs> Watch out for cops. Don't want to get pulled over with this asshole in the back seat. Uh huh. Thank you, Vito. Whew. Shit. <laughs> For a couple of years there, I really thought I might be done with all the Jimmy Cagney bullshit. But here I am. Funny. I kind of figured you for more the Edward G. Robinson type. <laughs> Look at you, kid. You know, God's got a sense of humor, too. It's sick as shit, but that motherfucker's got one. Okay, Vito. I'm really wondering if we're going to get any clarity, speaking of Vito, of the Joe. Story like, is he alive? Where is he? I don't know. All units, search is called off. Repeat, abandoned search. Perfect. Return to patrol. We still have a timer. Uh, okay. Hopefully, the timer is only just to get to Vito's place. Is it so? Or six minutes. Seatbelt on, asshole. Let's see, I'll see what we say to him. Oh, oh, please! I didn't do nothing! You didn't do nothing? You were getting ready to fucking kill me! I was just doing what Uncle Sal told me to do! Ah, that fuck never liked me, I get it. But this? You never tried anything like this before. I know. I know. Come on, Mikey, why do you want me gone all of a sudden? Said you were a carpet bagger. Never should have been down here in the first place. <laughs> you want me to keep going? You got nine more. Fuck! Listen, Jesus, he was worried you knew about the casino. And so we're gonna play up to Leo and the commission. What casino? Answer the question. Uncle Sally's. You, you, you see that construction across the lake? He's building a casino over there. He wants to go legit. Turn this city into Las Vegas. Gambling's illegal. Uh, yeah, no shit, it's illegal. Uh, which is why he's paid a bunch of money to get the laws changed. Who else is involved in this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know, I swear it. <laughs> Look, I, I told you what you wanted to know. You could have let me go now, right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Stupid fucking prick. I'll clean this mess up. No reason for you to stick around. Remember our deal. I'm expecting to cut of everything you bring in. Hey, I know how this shit works. You'll get your money. There's a woman named Alma. Helps me out sometimes. Cuban. Mean as fuck. 
should talk to her, see if she needs anything. Might be an easy way to bring in some extra money. Where's she at? At the warehouse. All right. What are you gonna do with him? Fish gotta eat like everyone else. At what point did you become aware that Sal Marcano wanted to build a casino north of the city? Pretty early on. Michael Greco told Lincoln about it. And Lincoln Clay's plan was to specifically target various entities related to Marcano's casino plan? Between the bribes he was paying out to get gambling legalized and the money needed to pay off the commission, Sal was stressed pretty thin. So Lincoln used that to his advantage. Forced Sal into making some extremely hard decisions. Decisions that would limit his options. I'm telling you, we make twice as much bread moving heroin as we would from a stupid fucking casino. Maybe three times. This ain't about the money. <laughs> You're joking, right? All I ever heard from you is, don't give me that goddamn excuses, you understand? You pay me what's fucking old. You think this is a game, <laughs> son? And it's my fault for playing along with you. We're not setting you straight. But it's not a game. This shit wears on you, grinds you down. I ain't had a decent night's sleep in 43 years. And then after Lucho, shit. Well, hey, we got the cocksuckers who did that. Every last one of them. Yeah, and your uncle's still dead, ain't he? Yeah. You think sitting in that chair makes you special, huh? Somehow puts you above all the bullshit. Well, it's the opposite. All it does is paint a giant goddamn bullseye on your forehead. There's a price to be paid for all this, you understand? And I'm tired of paying it. Mainly, I'm worried I'm going to get a phone call telling me you're dead in a gutter somewhere. What do you expect me to do, huh? Work the front door? Glad hand folks as they come on in, maybe give them a quick slap on the ass? You run it with me. And here, after a few years, after I know everything's settled down, you'll take over. Find yourself a nice woman. Give me some fucking grandkids. Sound boring as fuck. It's the only way, son. The world is changing. Used to be people knew their place. Now everybody's screaming about equality. And now they all deserve a slice of the pie. Niggas, mix, gooks, you name it. Our way of doing things won't work in a world like that. Yeah. You come to me with something like this, Lou, you better be goddamn sure. Yeah. Lincoln Clay is still alive. Fuck me. What's up, boys? How you been? I'm gonna fucking blow your heads off. I'll sign up to V, though. Oh, they know we're alive now. Oh, shit's gonna hit the pad pretty soon. But... Oh, boy. Hey, you know, that's the first time we've seen them since they, uh... Well, you know. Alright, what's next? Call a sit-down and emotional attachment. Let's get it. Um, you know what? I'll call it for the episode. I'll see you guys tomorrow.